Hi guys, this is again Alan and welcome back to my channel. Today here in the Philippines, believe it or not, we are already on our 24th week of the quarantine. So I'm praying that you guys are all well at home. Today again, we are going to be reviewing another watercolor set. And this set gave me the impression that it is local. So let's find out if it's really local, if it's really made in the Philippines. And this set is no other than the Sterling Arts Watercolors. I got my set at Shopee Philippines, particularly at Shop Central PH, for 100 Philippine pesos, or roughly 2 US dollars. I ordered and paid it on July 21, and it arrived on July 27. So let's do the unboxing. It's uh, brought to me by JNT Express, but I don't know why it actually looks very old like this. Maybe because they had too many deliveries in their sack. So, here now is our set. The main reason why I bought this set is because of its artwork in front. This is the Baraswa in Church, a very historical church found in Bulacan, Philippines. I've actually painted this same church also for my book project, which is a compilation of Philippine churches. So this is my version of it. I bought this set expecting that this is made in the Philippines. I've actually asked the Sterling Arts company if this is made in the Philippines but unfortunately they have not replied yet. So let's just see um, if there are more information in the box. So in front you'll find of course the reason why I got these, the painting. But unfortunately we cannot find the artist who did this here. We have no idea who painted this. Anyway, um, it's by Sterling R, so here's the company logo, says here watercolor, non-toxic, so that's a good thing, says here, conforms to ASTM D4236, so that's a good sign, says here 12 colors, plastic tube. So on this side, it says here, a Sterling Paper Company, Sterling Place, so the distributor is from the Philippines, CBS Incorporated, but it says here, it's made in Malaysia so that disappoints me a bit I have been really looking for some locally made paints particularly watercolor of course in fact I have already bought and reviewed the Pinta PH but those are handmade watercolors I am now looking for some paints that are made in a factory or in a larger scale of manufacturing so this one is yeah we have just found out now that it's not made in the Philippines it's made in Malaysia they just put this local structure here to fool me maybe <laughs> okay so well that's okay so let's remove the cover this is very inexpensive so we do not have any huge expectations we do not see any information regarding the color names, the pigment codes, and light fastness, of course. Uh, we are not expecting that. So the clue on which color it is, is in the color of the caps, obviously. Let's check one. Anyway, these are 4 milliliter tubes and aside from this set, they also have another set where 4 of the 12 colors are 6 milliliter tubes. Now, as you can see, I have already rearranged the tubes according to my preference. I believe this is the cheapest tube set that I have now. But believe it or not, there are still some cheaper sets than this. There are, I believe, $1 or even cheaper sets. And I'm gonna be trying them out also soon. So now for our swatches and sample painting, we are using, as always, Arches 185 Cold Press Cotton Paper. And for our brushes, we have here Raphael Precision Brush Number 2 and Escoda Reservoir Number 8. I am gonna be swatching them directly from tube. And I'm just gonna be calling these as red since they did not provide color names. For this color, there is no binder separation, so it looks good. The texture is kind of weird though. Um, it has this grainy feel and uh, it's not very pigmented. You need to get 
more paints to see the color of this paint. Next we have orange and this is a bit watery. No, it's okay. As you can see, um, the pigments are like powder. It forms into uh, this weird texture. It separates from the binder this way. But the binder feels very um, thin, like water. This color is better though as compared to red. But it's opaque. Next color is golden yellow. So we have the same issue here. Next we have lemon yellow. This color is opaque. Actually both the yellows are opaque. As well as the orange also, yeah. The two yellows are not very different though. Next we have yellow green. And this looks very opaque. I'm afraid this is gonna be chalky. Next is this is their Viridian. And here's how it looks like. And this color is very thin. So it really reminds me of the genuine Viridian. Next we have their sky blue. Or is this cerulean blue? Or thalo blue? Let's see. Yeah, it's thalo blue. See that? It has this weird texture. Next color is is this ultramarine or cobalt blue. Oh, this is very watery. Let's take out some of the waters. So, oh, this is not ultramarine. This is Prussian blue. This color is very light. Next we have here yellow ochre. This is super opaque. Next we have brown. I think this is more of a burnt shanna. Next we have here black. This looks very pigmented for the first time <laughs> in this set. Next we have white. So now we're done with our swatches. As we are waiting for these swatches to dry, let's proceed to our sample painting. But I am going to be speeding this up to save time. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. See, it doesn't really dissolve evenly. See, it really forms this very weird texture like sand or yeah it doesn't look clean
Now our sample painting is dry, we can now remove our tape. Now our sample painting and swatches are finally dry, we can now have a closer look. When it comes to the color selection, I am okay with the color selection. It's very basic, it's very elementary. Although it would be better if they have included a warm blue instead of a Prussian blue, say an ultramarine or a cobalt blue will do. And also, um, they have two greens here. I think it would be better to uh, include another red, a mid red or a warm red instead of yellow green or another brown maybe, a dark brown. Or a Van Dyke brown. Now when it comes to the vibrance of the color, I think for the price it's not bad. I was able to uh, achieve this um, quality of painting but my main problem is not the vibrance or the intensity of the color but more on how it moves and the texture also. I have noticed some weird texture that forms these um, sand-like particle or particles or lumps of paints and I think it's very obvious in my palette so that is the thing that I think is discouraging here in this set and it was really hard for me to dissolve the paint considering that the paints are already straight from the tube and also for the colors to move well you need lots of water and you also need to help them as you can see there are some um, unusual granulation here I don't know if that will please the majority but this quality reminds me of the texture of Sakura Koi Packet Field sketch box which I think is not my uh, type now when it comes to transparency I think most of the colors are semi opaque or opaque I think the most transparent here is only the Prussian blue and this blue but these two are the weakest also in this range and I am warning you if you are using this please avoid to mix more than two or three colors because there is a huge tendency that the colors will get muddy um, here it almost got very muddy here so I used just black to cover up the muddy area anyway I need dark part here to create shadows so now let's check if the colors are chalky or not. I'm rubbing a piece of napkin or tissue paper and see if it smudges and if it transfers some pigments to the napkin. So yeah, it got some colors here. I think it's more on the green because our sample painting is green but not so much because it did not miss the white parts of the paper. So when it comes to the chalkiness, it's a bit chalky but not as chalky as Simba Lion, Dong A, and Best Buy. Now we have come to our favorite part which is the comparison portion. And as early as now I can say that unfortunately the Sterling Arts watercolors fall on the bottom four. But despite being on the bottom four, I think it is better than three of the sets I'm gonna be showing and these are the following. Um, the Best Buy watercolors, Dong A Creative, Simba Lion watercolors. As you can see, the colors of Sterling Arts are more vibrant and it's less chalky in my test. So now all the sets that I'm gonna be showing next are better in performance as compared to the Sterling Arts watercolors. So this is just going to be for visual comparison. So let's begin with the Giorgioni watercolor cakes. Before Sterling Arts watercolors, Giorgioni was the bottom four. Now it's at the bottom five. Next is Reeves watercolor. We also have Art Ranger watercolors. Pentel watercolors fine. Faber-Castell tubes. Marie's watercolors in tubes also. Brown Watercolors 2019, Brown Watercolors 2007, Marie's Watercolors in Pants, Bebeo Studio Watercolors, Faber Castell Solid Watercolor, Sakura Koi Pocket Field Sketchbox, 
Kuretake Gansai Tambi Simi Art Solid Watercolors Pretty Excellent Watercolors Superior Fan Palette Watercolors Superior Watercolors in Half Pans You also have Miyahimi Gouache and Miyahimi Solid Watercolors Simi Art Semi Dry Watercolors Van Gogh 20 New Colors Sonnet Watercolors Windsor & Newton Cutman Windsor & Newton China and Van Gogh 12 plus 3 half pans. Now let's proceed to the artist grade paints of course. This is no contest at all. This is just for visual comparison. Let's begin with Kokuyo Kamlin watercolors from India. Lucas Aquarel 1862. Pima Marketing Tropicals. Marie's Masters watercolors in troops. Paul Rubens watercolors. Mongyo Professional watercolors. Michello Mission Gold 36 color set, Windsor Newton half pants, Hobine Artist watercolors 30 color set, Egal Yohani watercolors from Italy, Hobine Botanical Art, White Knights, White Knights watercolor tubes, Daniel Smith sticks, Michello Pure Pigment set 26 colors. Rembrandt Luxury Pocket Box Set and Daniel Smith Ultimate Mixing Set. So now, if you are gonna ask me would I recommend the Sterling Arts Watercolors, my answer would be... Um, maybe? Maybe yes, if you need it for your very young kid. Say a preschool. Or if your kid is just, you know, curious to use watercolors, if it's his or her first time to use watercolors, Maybe this would feed her curiosity or his curiosity. But if you see potential in him or her or strong interest and passion, please get some better paints than this. Because first, he might not be able to appreciate watercolor with the texture that these paints show us. And also, he might not be able to maximize the potentials and you know the beauty of watercolor using these paints. In the past, I have reviewed some cheaper paints like, say, the Superior Watercolors, the Prang Watercolors, or the Simi Art Watercolors, or even the Pentel Watercolors that are cheaper but have better texture. Of course, this is a very inexpensive set of paints, but I still need to be honest about it. I still need to give my real opinion about my experience here, and I think you also have witnessed how it behaved. So I hope you're not offended by my honesty <laughs> and I think that's all for today. So again, if you're not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to show support to my channel. Please don't forget to like and share this video. Again, thank you very much for watching and see you next week.